Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing and testing out the E-Element Z88 typewriter style keyboard. So this was actually sent to me by a company over on Amazon called HUIJI. So if you guys like the look of this keyboard throughout the video, there will be a link in the description, maybe the comments as well, if you guys wish to purchase one. So this is an RGB mechanical keyboard, which means it has LED lights, which you can change the colors of, and the mechanical part, easiest way of explaining that is it's kind of like makes those clicks each time you press the key. So this one actually is a brown switch, so if you don't know what that means, it's one of the more quieter ones. Um, it's like the Cherry MX brown type switches. But this keyboard is an anti-ghosting keyboard with 81 keys and it's also supported on pretty much every operating system right from Windows 10 to Windows XP and even Mac OS X. So let's just go ahead and unbox this thing right now. Now I have actually had quite a few E-Element keyboards before and they're all actually pretty good. Now this one, I've never really seen a keyboard like it. It does look really unique. This keyboard is especially good for games and if you like typing stuff out in Microsoft Word, um, just writing anything really. So it looks like we've got um, a few things in here. These look like spare switches. So I'm just going to take this stuff out right now. Oh, so what these are, these are used to pull the keys off without damaging them. So it looks like we've got a metal one and a plastic one. And I did actually find some switches that just fell out. So here they are. These are just some spare switches. So maybe if some of them get damaged, these are what plug into the keyboard um, for the keys. So as you can see, these are actually very quiet. They're the brown ones, um, so they are pretty quiet. So let's just take the other things out. We've got some, looks like an instruction booklet here, but it looks like it's all in Japanese. Now here is the keyboard itself. As you can see, it's in a sty style, kind of like a typewriter. The keys are rounded off and it actually does look very nice. I believe there's some other color ones on here. So you guys want to check out a listing. But let's just take this thing out of the bubble wrap it comes with. And here is the cable at the back as well. Now the cool thing with this keyboard is it's a micro USB cable. So if you want to put this in like a bag and take it somewhere, you don't have to have a cable sticking out. You can take it out and it will just plug back in to the slot down there. Obviously we have the stands here so you can flick these up and just stand the keyboard up on your desk. Here is just the um, information at the back if that interests any of you guys. And yeah, here's the keyboard, 81 keys, not too big, it's smaller than the keyboard that I'm currently using. And the keys are actually fairly quiet, I thought they were going to be louder, so that is very nice. So if you're playing games and using a microphone, um, the keys aren't going to be too loud to the people that are also playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my PC, show you guys some of the features like the RGB lighting and stuff, and also show some gameplay um, while using this so you can hear what it sounds like from a microphone. I've just got it plugged in with this random um, micro USB cable I found, so it doesn't have to be the one it came with. And what you want to do, if you want to change the um, RGB lighting on this, so what you have to do is you have to hold down the FN key and then press the page down key. So each time you press it, it's going to give you like a different um, kind of LED style. So we've got um, green, this looks like a one that like pulsates um, on and off. And we've got this one right here, which highlights the keys you will use for playing games with. And we've got this one. Now this one looks like one that's like um, changing colors. So this one does actually look pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, so each time you press a key on this one, it seems to light up a different color. So very interesting. It might look quite nice if you're typing really fast. Let's see what else we've got. We've got um, kind of like a fading one, which just fades in like red and orange. And then we've got this one, which kind of just does this rainbow kind of style. So each time you press a key on this one, it does like this really interesting rainbow effect. It does actually look pretty cool. Another kind of LED effect where each key you press will stay lit up um, just for a few seconds. And now this is like the rainbow one, so as you can see the whole keyboard is now doing like a rainbow pattern. 
and I believe this one is just completely turned off so you do not have to have the LEDs on if you don't wish to and then we're back to normal. So if you want it normal just like this on one color, you hold Fn and you press plus and minus. You can now rotate through all of the colors. So they've got pretty much every color on here. Obviously white, pink, blue, turquoise, green, yellow. You guys get the idea. They have a really good color selection. See, it's a pretty nice keyboard. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play a game, but I'm gonna record my footage on my PC and use my microphone. And you guys can see if this thing is loud or if it's fairly decent. Right guys, so let's test out some gameplay and you guys can hear what the keyboard sounds like. Right now we are playing Call of Duty World at War, but we're just gonna play some custom zombies. So I guess that's pretty much it for this gameplay. Hopefully you guys got a good idea of what the keyboard sounds like just playing games normally. So if you're playing with your friends, then they could hear what it would sound like on their microphone. And guys, if you're wondering about the keys, you can actually just pull them off very easily. As you can see, they actually have a cross at the bottom and you can simply just put them back on literally by just placing them on top of the keys, place it in the center and then just push it back down and it will stay on there. So this was just my quick review of the E-Element Z88 typewriter style keyboard with brown switches. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I will leave a link to this keyboard in the description if you guys wish to get one for yourself. Right now, it's actually at a pretty good price. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.